be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. I guess we should head to the school then. Time to return, finally, to the Uwu Academy. It's after dark. There Clive is. Just picture yourself Clive running like this over mountains to get here before I fly over. Sup, Rainy? You're not, you're not 15, Clive. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha ha! It's Clavel! Clavel! I do apologize for deceiving you, fellow kids. Shocked Pikachu thing. It is I, Mr. Clavel! N no way! I already knew that. <laughs> My disguise was perfect, what do you mean? The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss, was me all along! <laughs> what? <laughs> For real? No, that's impossible. Honest to goodness! Cassiopeia over the phone was actually just my pre-recorded voice. I used one of these high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. A voice changer. How is he the boss of Team Star? And if he's the bo- Why is he the boss of Team Star? Is this his, like, anti-bullying program? That he set up so that the people being bullied wouldn't get bullied? He, group, he grouped all the people getting bullied together into Team Star, and then they grew out of control, and now... Now he wants to shut it down? Yeah, because Team Star doesn't like the school, but the boss of Team Star is the head of the school. <laughs> My brain is exploding. He thought he could pull off being a student with a goatee. Do you think his judgments are saying, Face me in a final showdown to decide everything. Director Clavel has challenged you to a Pokemon fight. This is the most posh battle music I've ever heard. And this is where you understand that you're very underleveled again. Yeah. Maybe he's bipolar and his two personalities are fighting each other. Bam Bam fell asleep. No! Bam Bam. This is not the time. Get your orangutan out of here. Gara- <laughs> Terran cuts at the Y. Gara dose. Slice and dice. Oh, it's a teapot now. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> That's kinda sus, not gonna lie. How did it not one hit it? Avoided it. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I can't use Tink because I think fire melts by steel. So. Yeah, superpower is pretty good. Wow. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia, though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. So he was just lying to us. No ordinary student could probably defeat Cassiopeia, huh? So I challenged you to battle instead to test your skills. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. If anyone has a chance at saving the poor child, it surely is you. Defeat Cassiopeia, please. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Sir, yes sir. Don't tell me rhyme is the leadership. 
future. <laughs> Wait, this is time. This is the sister of Rhyme, huh? I came here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds. And what do I find? Why the director of the academy himself facing off against one of the students, no less. What were you thinking? Oh, I can explain, miss. Oh, spare me! <laughs> Your excuses reek worse than the stunkies behind. <laughs> you will write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. <laughs> and I will be reporting you to the chairwoman. No, please, do anything but that. Clive. Oh, Clive. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got different classes here at the school. We've got biology, math, history, languages, battle studies, art, home economics. There's so many more rooms now that I've never been to. Oh yeah, this purple book right here. Oh my god, there's so many things. Photograph from the survey team point of ingress to the crater, which is visible in the background. Adventure into Area Zero. Inhospitable to human life. Something unknown sleeps in its depths. Photograph of a spot where the survey team rested one day. Ledges form a spiral down to the inner walls of Area Zero. Some kind of guardian protecting the area. Pokemon of Area Zero. They look pretty normal to me. As we descend further, we catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. A resemblance to Dawn Fan. That must be Iron Threads. Area Zero was the home of the wondrous herbs. Quickly eaten by Pokemon though. Grew the Pokemon really large. A mysterious plate buried deep in Area Zero. We found a cave with formations. Gemstones shining blindly bright. So being deep in the crater twists Pokemon into something else. Oh, this is the author of the book. Heath. A redacted Pokemon? Okay, let me try reading it. While separated from the research team, in the grey crater's depths, I found a strange entity, whether it was Pokemon or even alive at all. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Veiled as a whole, it resembled a mysterious brilliant disc. This Pokemon actually isn't in the game, so it was just like a sighting they made, huh, maybe? Okay, that's the book. No! Penny! Don't tell me! Thanks for coming. Surely you're not the mastermind behind all this. Oh, she has an evil smile. This must be quite a shock for you. I can't believe Penny is Cassiopeia. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. She uses her methods to get LP so she could tempt me after seeing my fighting skills, and she hired me in to do Team Starfall. She kept an eye on me as a member of the supply unit. Why was I fighting on your behalf though? Why did you want to stop Team Star? There's a part of her that wants Team Star to live on, so she can't just let me win without a fight. Fair. Okay. Penny was evil all along. <laughs> Mr. Clavel put on his outfit again. So it was you after all. No, I mean, is, is that you, Cassiopeia? <laughs> Should we tell Penny? <laughs> Team Star doesn't know who she is. They never met their big boss. I guess, yeah. She's gonna send this video of this fight to Team Star. I am shooketh, Penny. Absolutely shooketh. I can't believe this is, this is who you really are. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder! How under-leveled am I am? <laughs> that is the question. 62, a little bit. She's harder than Clovel. Oh god! Some hard style in here as well in the battle music is. <laughs> nice, nice. Just tank the hit. Yeah. She has an Eevee backpack, it makes sense that she's sending out all these Eevees, yeah. <laughs> okay.
No, it outspeeds me. Oh, but I avoided it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I don't have a grass type. <laughs> Didn't even think about kilowatt though. They might have a sweeper, you never know. It could go fine until the very last one, and then it just sweeps you. It's just, I have counters for everything she sends out. That's why it's going all right. Oh yeah, we tanked it. Good job. She's gonna terrestrialize this one. Shine bright like the starry sky! Yeah! You go, Tink! You go! She's happy on the inside. She's angry on the outside, but she is the leader of Operation Starfall. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Yeah, they never fought anyone. They didn't do anything wrong. Our outfits must have spooked them good. They didn't even send out Pokemon. They just said sorry for bullying you, and that's about it. I don't feel like Team Star should be punished for anything. I don't feel like they did anything, honestly. Penny left them on red. Bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks, Rainy. And you too, Clive. I mean, Professor Clive. I mean, Professor Clive. I mean, Clive. This is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you. Wasn't there any other way to handle this? She tried to stop the bosses before, but they didn't want to quit. Why not order them to? Our code states that no one in team has the right to order people around. So if the code stated that the team had to break up because everyone was defeated, there you go. According to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them, thus the idea of Operation Starfall. Let me ask you one last thing. What do your friends in the team mean to you? There. My greatest treasure. Aww. Quit it with the old geezer act, Clive, you're creeping me out. Allow me to reveal my secret identity. Ha ha! Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But why? <laughs> this is like a soap opera at this point. I needed a way to talk to Team Star. Students are too shy to talk to teachers. Clive has just been uh, getting all of them to come here, huh? Yep, big boss, long time no see. Long time no meet, don't you mean? Aren't you a sight for sore eyes, my lady? <laughs> Yeah, this scene could really do with some voice acting. Would add a little extra feels to it, I think. Now then, Miss Penny, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As the director of the Academy, I let you all down. Ever since the first day as director, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessed free from bullying. But I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And of course, your immense courage in putting things right. He's revoking all of his threats about disbanding them and expelling them. Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Ooh, mine heart is giddy with glee. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, the gang is back together. Your brazen customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized usage of academy equipment. Your reckless modification of jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. As punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Why does Penny not have to wear a uniform? That is a good question. Manage the STCs, Star Training Centers, facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents, in a collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Rainy battling his way through your bases. So they're gonna become sort of official gyms that give out badges. So using your former bases as training facilities. I think it sounds great. Please stop by my office later, Master Rainy. Happy ending for Team Star, that's nice. 
Okay, let's go to his office. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice. You have my sincere gratitude. What, you did something else really bad? What was that? You know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Star- She stole it from the, the school, didn't she? I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. So all of my League points from Penny are actually hacked points. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I've been kicked out so that they can tell and discuss these matters. Oh, hey Penny, how's it going? Something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? Terran! It's been so long. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought of this catchphrase back when we created the team. So cringy, it's perfect, you know? <laughs> anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going to a big time for hacking the league points, but they're letting me off easy. The league said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They also want you to work there after you graduate. Impressive. The moral of the story here is hack the corporation you want to work with to prove that you are good enough to work there. You saved Team Star and my friends. You don't owe me anything, you are, you are paying me money. <laughs> Actually, Penny, I wanted to talk to you about something. You see, I'm recruiting a team to infiltrate the Great Crater, and I would love to have you on the team as a hacker. Okay, you don't have to answer, bye. We only have the Pokemon League then, yeah? 